Lovely day today here in Austin at DevOps Day. I'm here with Mark Phillips. Mark, how are you? Doing well, thank you. So you're at uh, Basho, and Correct. you guys make the NoSQL database React. Can you can you tell us a little bit about, uh, first, what you do at Basho personally, and then a little bit more about uh, React? Sure. Uh, so again, my name is Mark Phillips. Uh, I go by Fark Phillips on Twitter. Um, I'm the Director of Community and Developer Evangelism over at Basho. Uh, so React is an open source uh, NoSQL database. Uh, eventually consistent. Uh, I don't want to say infinitely scalable, but it scales up quite nicely. Uh, and just this morning, actually at the conference, uh, I stood up on stage and said, uh, it is the most boring database you'll ever run in production. Uh, it's made to, to never go down. Uh, if you need something that will always be there when you know, one of your users wants their data, or you need it back in 5, 10 milliseconds, whatever under SLA, that's what React is for. And then, it, when you think of the the cool kid uh, NoSQL databases these days, like yourselves and Mongo mm -hmm. and um, Couch, Correct. how would you say, what's the difference between them? Is they have these, I'm sure they each have their own strengths and, and weaknesses, sure. but how would you differentiate them? So I'll pick two uh, and go with that. So uh, React compared to Mongo, uh, React is made to scale right out of the box. Uh, Mongo employs uh, an interesting distribution system where they have uh, masters and, and slaves, and they set up what's called a replica set, uh, and they, they run read and write slaves off of that. Um, uh, they have a, a much nicer set of, of APIs, I would say. Uh, to developers, I think it's a dream. Uh, they have a, a very deep and complex query language. Uh, but where we tend to win against Mongo is on the operational side. Again, React, just a very simple key value store. Uh, you can build up things with MapReduce and, and full text search and things like that, but it's just a key value store at its heart. Uh, React uh, against Cassandra, I would say Cassandra is probably our, our closest uh, technical comparison. Uh, the immediate differences are Cassandra being in Java, React being written in Erlang. Uh, there are some really deep nuances in uh, how they partition their data around uh, the ring. React also has a ring scale-out architecture. Uh, and then Cassandra's data model is a, is a bit more, uh, some would say complex, others would say granular. It's just a bit different uh, to, to React's key value store. So how did you guys get uh, hooked up with Erlang, which I guess has had a re resurgence uh, in the last three years from, like, what, it's an old telltale language, isn't that? Yeah, so uh, Erlang uh, goes as far back as, I think, 1988, maybe. Um, Ericsson uh, wrote it and released it. The, the runtime is Erlang OTP. The language is Erlang. Uh, so Bash has been around for about five years at this point. We used to make a software as a service that was uh, to help salespeople prospect. Um, but we built React to run underneath that. We read the Dynamo paper, got very excited about, about the idea of it. Uh, and then we open sourced it in 2009 when uh, the initial idea didn't look as promising as, as React. Uh, we'd always been Erlang guys. We'd always believed in, in kind of the power of it. And uh, I'd like to think we were early adopters. So it's good to see people coming around to the language. So you guys, big mainstays at the factory, is that? Is that Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we, we always uh, seem to be big big ticket sponsors at the factory, whether it's in San Francisco or London or wherever. Uh, Francesco and the ESL guys seem to throw it. Very cool. And then uh, last but not least, tell me what it means to be community and developer relations. Uh, what does that mean for, for you all? Sure. So for me, uh, I'm in the lucky position of not really ever having to work a day in my life. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful job. So I get to come to uh, events like this, uh, DevOps Day Austin, and talk to people about how they're using databases, you know, what they need, what their problems are in production with systems like React. Uh, so for Basho, React is a Apache 2 license, so completely open source, with the exception of a few extra bits we, we sell on top of, of React open source, so that being a multi-data center replication and a new S3 API we just released last week. Uh, so for us, the, the community is, a, is very important. Um, everything from, from marketing to actual code contributions, uh, obviously to, to kind of helping us build a revenue pipeline, but uh, we don't get to distribute software unless we make the open source community happy. So it's very important to us. Excellent. Mark Phillips, thank you so much. Thank you.